So we've created a lamp, a low prim lamp with volumetric lighting. There is one little problem with this, however. If we click our lamp, the light still goes on and off, but the volumetric lighting doesn't. It doesn't make a lot of sense. So in this step, what we'll see is how to add the final scripts to turn that volumetric lighting on and off. So let's go ahead and select the lamp, right click, and edit. Now, what we really need to do is to take the second script that I gave you, the volumetric light on and off script, and put it in the two objects that we want to turn on and off. But there's a problem. When we look at the content tab, which is where we're supposed to put a script, what we're actually seeing is the contents of the light bulb. Remember that when you look at a compound object, an object that's made out of multiple prims, what we actually are looking at is the contents of the parent prim. But we want these volumetric light effects to be the ones that are turned on and off. So somehow we need to modify them directly. We don't want to put our script in the parent prim. The editor allows us to do this by turning on the edit linked parts mode. So I'll click that checkbox. Now what I'm allowed to do is actually to select individual parts of my lamp. So now I've selected the top volumetric light. Now just like I did with the light bulb, I can drag my script into the contents of that object. Just like so. And I'm going to repeat this step with the bottom volumetric light. Like so. So now we've added our volumetric light script to both of our volumetric light effects. And it's a good habit to remember to turn edit linked parts off because you don't want to uh, accidentally destroy your object by forgetting that that's turned on. So let's close our edit panel and now see what happens when we click. Everything seems to have worked. Time to put the finishing touches on our lamp. Whether you did these steps of adding scripts or adding volumetric lighting, there's one more thing that we need to do. So let's right click and edit. We want to look at the general tab. So far we've seen the object tab, the features tab, which is where we selected our lighting, the texture tab, which allows us to select how a prim looks, and the content tab, which is where we add scripts. The object tab, of course, tells us information about the shape of the prim and where it's positioned. The fifth tab is the general tab. This contains general information about the object. Its name, a description, information about who created it and who owns it, and some various other items. Now, what we're going to do in a minute is take this lamp and copy it into our inventory. But we probably don't want to call it object. Otherwise, we'll have an inventory full of things called object, and we'll be very sad because we won't be able to find anything. So I'm going to change the name of this to something I'll recognize. The description you won't see unless you get a tooltip for an object. So most people don't bother with a description. You can use it if you wish. Let's look at some of the other information. You can see we have information about who the original creator is. Even if I sell this lamp to someone else, that will stay the same. Then there's the current owner. Another thing that this tells us is the fact that we have one object selected, our lamp object, and that's made up of six primitives. So this is really useful when you're looking at purchasing a new object. If you're looking to purchase a low prim object, you can right click it, edit, and then you'll see how many prims it has. Maybe if it has 60 prims in a lamp, you don't want it. 